welcome back to a, another youtube video it is the i think it's fourth of february isn't it friday and it is a beautiful day i don't know if you can see it won't focus but it is so blue and bright outside i love it i'm just heading to coffee to meet up with beth truman if you guys don't know who beth truman is go and check out her youtube i will put in her link she is a youtuber a lifestyle and fitness blogger she's also working away through university and she lives in leeds and she's doing personal training and we're so silly we haven't even met up yet which is ridiculous because we've met a few times and i spoke to her properly at body power last year and like I said, we keep meaning to meet up and we just keep putting it off. So today is the day. We're going to go and have coffee and then arrange a proper training day for next week. <laughs> Olympic lifting session by myself and it was really hard actually and I've really kind of hurt my wrist I don't feel that strong I think it's because I'm a little bit tired and it's Friday it's the end of the week I've had a very busy week and last night I didn't finish work well I didn't get home till like half nine quarter to ten so there's loads of things I haven't really eaten that much and it's like half two so I'm just gonna take it for what it is it was my first session my form wasn't great like I said my weights weren't as high as I'd like them but first one in the bag and I finished on that core work which I enjoyed as well which I don't normally do core work so that's a new thing that I'm enjoying so I'm gonna head home now get some food and then I'm gonna just chill out I think for the rest of the afternoon because I've got another hectic busy morning with personal training clients tomorrow which is Saturday so this video will be going out Monday home time so I just wanted to quickly talk to you guys about 
female training and how our bodies and our hormones can kind of have an impact on our training because I think a lot of women tend to kind of forget obviously our hormone levels and how it really can affect our training and sometimes when we're not feeling that strong or tired it might not be down to just food or sleep or whatever it can have a massive um effect from our hormones so i'm talking obviously about periods sorry guys this one is not really for you the week before your period obviously the pms this is when your serotonin levels are going to be a lot lower than usual serotonin is like the happy chemical the happy hormone in our bodies and we get a lot of that from like high carbohydrate foods and your workouts anything that's like boosting your mood and like I said, that week before your period is when your mood is lower. So you're, like I said, your body will be craving out for these high carbohydrate foods, which will give you that quick fix. But because your insulin levels and sensitivity are a lot stronger at this stage, just be mindful of fighting those high sugary nasty carbohydrate sources for that instant energy kick leaving you with a bit of a crash and then obviously not helping in terms of your mood and hormone levels with that week before your period when your serotonin levels might be a little bit lower great way to get them back up and increase those levels is by the good old sunshine getting outdoors getting your vitamin d in you know that i've always talked about walking outside or just getting some fresh air can really boost your mood in that week that you don't fancy getting lifts in in the gym try other ways there's yoga go for a nice walk with your partner or just by yourself stick a good podcast on whatever just find ways to boost your mood within that week it's just a matter of listening to your body and realizing that obviously every month this is going to happen and the week before you do have your period you probably will experience that feeling of tiredness, grumpiness, your mood swings up and down. John Paul will probably know from my energy levels in general and food cravings. And for me, I have little tantrums. I have cravings for chocolate. If you really want to take a few days off training, then do it. Don't put yourself through a session thinking that you're going to have to kill yourself. Feeling exhausted, feeling tired and fed up because you're not lifting as heavy. Just give your body what it needs. And if you fancy some chocolate, Go and have some chocolate, for God's sake. It's not about restricting yourself. It's about fitting the foods that you enjoy, the foods that you are craving, into your diet. And if one of your things the week before you are coming on is chocolate, then fit it into your macros. You know that I'm a big advocate for never restricting yourself from any foods. If it fits, obviously it always has its place. So I'm going to wrap this video up here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Comment below if you like to hear a little bit more information and advice on these um, videos. So just drop me a comment below. And the next video I will be filming with Beth Truman. We're going to be doing a shoulder workout. So make sure you look out for that video coming very soon. And I'll see you all in the next one. Love you all. Peace. Oh.